Hi, this is Ryan Rieger from Private Label The Easy Way, and I just wanted to show you what I do to find Amazon's bestseller list and how to use that to research potential private label projects or private label products. So I'm just going to type in Amazon bestsellers. That comes up there. And this is not a search that I've done before. I mean, I'm not, uh, I've not like rehearse this in advance so I'm just going through here like uh, I would any other time and let's just pick a category let's go uh, home and kitchen and then let's say we're going to be interested in the bath category and so these are the top sellers in the bath products category subcategory for home and kitchen on Amazon and if I was looking for this category, some things that might stand out would be that um, a scale would be electronic. It's definitely not impossible, but probably not something that I would um, go for right away. Some items that look like they would be easy for private label would be like this fogless shower mirror. And so just looking at the, um, the price, $14.99. It's not selling for a lot, but you could get it for three or four dollars. Um, it'd still be worth it. Two hundred and two in beauty, a crep in a incredible rank. So this could potentially be a project that I would be um, interested in. Frozen um, is licensed. Um, licensed so that would be difficult not something that you um, would be a uh, not low-hanging fruit at all shower curtain definitely something that uh, or a tension rod rather that would be um, a private label product that would not be that difficult to do and all these are going to have good ranks in the top 100s 287 in home and kitchen selling many 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 per day Shower curtain hooks, another very, it'd be an easy thing to private label. I mean, based on what you already know from my book, um, you know, kind of know what to look for already, and so you're just kind of finding products that fit that mold that are generic, that are going to be small, price point, a uh, selling price point between $10 and $50, not brand driven, a soap saver. I recognize this brand from one I clicked on earlier. So they obviously have a whole line of products. And so that's what you could do if you found something that sold really well. Like let's say you um, private label a soap saver. Well, then you know that um, you could come out with the shower curtains and any other items that are uh, complementary to, to your first product. Sorry, it's taking so long here. Let's go to jump to 41 to 60 just one more time here. You guys get the gist of it. You know what I'm doing here. Just looking for things that stand out to me as um, potential potential items that would not be that difficult for private label. Shower curtain, uh, sink stopper, that would all be good. A toilet brush would not be a hard private label product. So this is kind of what I do. Just go through different just it's just just an idea generator going through the best sellers list and seeing um, what's already selling really well and if you know it's selling well then you could probably create one like it